Prostate cancer affects almost one in six men in the United States. It is diagnosed by a prostate biopsy, a common procedure where small samples are taken from the prostate to be examined under a microscope. Your doctor may recommend a prostate biopsy for several reasons, an abnormal blood test called prostate-specific antigen, or PSA, or an abnormal prostate exam. Prostate biopsy is commonly performed in the office, laying on your side while an ultrasound device and biopsy needle are inserted into the rectum to take samples of the prostate. This is known as a transrectal needle biopsy of the prostate. Each time the biopsy needle is passed through the rectum, there is a risk that bacteria may also be passed into the body causing infection. To reduce this risk, antibiotics are usually prescribed. However, some patients experience side effects from antibiotics, such as upset stomach and or nausea. And increased use of antibiotics can lead to bacterial resistance, where bacteria change over time and no longer respond to certain medicines. As a result, antibiotics can become ineffective and infections by so-called superbugs become increasingly difficult or impossible to treat, which can lead to severe illness and death. To avoid the risks associated with the transrectal biopsy, another technique has been developed and utilized. Transperineal needle biopsy reduces the risk of sepsis or infectious hospitalizations to almost zero, as biopsies are taken through the skin instead of the rectum, which is cleaned with antiseptic solution. One in 100 patients experience an infection requiring hospitalization after undergoing a transrectal biopsy while less than 1 in 500 patients will experience an infection requiring hospitalization after undergoing a transperineal biopsy. Transperineal, or TP biopsy, is performed in the office using local numbing medication helping to decrease pain. Patients are positioned on their back with their legs supported in stirrups. A probe is inserted into the rectum to allow your doctor to see the prostate and help guide a small needle inserted through the perineum, the skin between the scrotum and anus, to reach the prostate and obtain samples. Unlike the transrectal approach, prior to a transperineal biopsy, no enema is required, and antibiotics can potentially be avoided. Following any prostate biopsy, you may experience symptoms including increased urgency and frequency of urination, blood in the urine that typically lasts a few days, and blood in the semen that may last up to 12 weeks. After a transrectal biopsy, patients usually also experience blood from the rectum and or during bowel movements for several days afterwards. However, transperineal biopsy virtually eliminates the risk of rectal bleeding and reduces the risk of blood in the urine following the biopsy. Research has shown that transperineal biopsy has the same or even improved detection of prostate cancer compared to the conventional transrectal approach. Advanced biopsy technique, such as MRI ultrasound fusion biopsy, can be performed by either a transrectal or transperineal approach. Patients who have undergone a transperineal biopsy reported similar overall pain or discomfort compared to those who have undergone transrectal biopsy procedures. This video was developed by feedback from your doctor, who is part of the Michigan Urological Surgery Improvement Collaborative, MUSIC, Sponsored by Blue Cross Blue Shield of Michigan, focused on improving patient care. With our mission to make Michigan number one in urologic care. To learn more about music, please visit us at www.musicurology.com.